Hello, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, March 7th, Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull all the cards together. They're for all of us. And if you're born today, March 7th, I will do a reading for you next. And happy full moon in Virgo. I did po post um, the full moon reading for each sign. You can find that on my YouTube channel. Advisable to watch. Okay. If you pick card number one. You have the Four of Swords. Something for someone out there says you need some time. You need things to build. You can't just have everything overnight. So kind of rest uh, and um, contemplate. Make a plan is what I'm feeling. For some of you, this is needing to watch your health. Um... If you haven't been feeling the best, I feel that you will recover. You're in a recovering and healing process. For some of you, it could be in your head a lot. What I'm feeling here is this could be needing to write things down so you don't forget them. Or creative writing is showing up. If you are a writer, um, writing poems, whatever it is, this could be a good time for you. Okay? Um, don't reveal all your information or plans today because someone wants to kind of like, I don't know, maybe pick your brain, take something from you. So I'd keep some things to myself today. Okay. Um, uh, but get some rest too. It's very important. And writing is coming up strong for you. Card number three, uh, two, you have a major arcana of death. So this is an important day for you. It's a major arcana. Of course, this is necessary change. There are endings and transitions here, all right? I do feel that energy. For some of you, it, um, if you do wear crystals or gemstones, they could be powerful for you today for some reason. I'm picking that up. All right, from whatever's ending and transitioning in your life right now, it is going to bring you um, victory. I didn't mean to say victory. I meant to say blessings. So, okay, a victory. Love is showing up here too. Beautiful energies are showing up here. So you've got some endings. Um, this is a time where something is going to be made clear to you. I see a lot of like clarity coming through, a breakthrough. Um, maybe this is some great ideas now, but success is showing up. You have a sharp mind. All right. So I do feel that energy. There is new communications um, resuming communications with someone. So I feel that energy as well. All right. Um, if you pick card number three, you have the five of cups. All right. So for some of you, you may, there could be someone who is very harsh, may say something and uh, be snappy or just um, comes out and says something that you do not like. Um, it can affect you is what I'm feeling for some of you that you, that you picked this uh, card. Um, let it go. All right. Is what I'm feeling. You just move on. You know, speak your own truth is what I'm feeling. Be true to yourself and let it go. Because I just, I, I do pick up this energy. For some of you, this could be some disappointments with, um, I don't know. If you're dealing with authority, dealing with anyone in a uniform, I want to say police or legal, um, let something go. Take everything with a grain of salt. But truth and integrity is going to be very important. All right. This could be just a day where you were thinking a little bit negatively, but it's time to kind of um, um, try to cheer up a little is what I'm feeling. Okay. Because when I look at this four of swords, the death card, and then we see the five of cups. Okay. Someone, some of you could be dealing with some kind of loss. Okay. So I do feel that energy, you know, but there is the power of joy and happiness. There should be a message coming in as well as what I'm feeling. That should be more enlightening. There is change happening and it's positive change. So you could be just a little nervous about the change. For some of us, we definitely need to kind of balance career and home life. So there's something there that needs to be balanced and prioritized as well. All right. So definitely seeing that. There can be a female around who may give us some support and advice today, too, is what I'm picking up. Okay? All right. So that is the reading. Well, also, I want to say, yeah, there's disappointments here. Maybe we're feeling abandoned or we're just withdrawn a little. Be careful of escapism because sometimes this is like, you know, we just kind of 
going to get lit or into our own bad habits just to kind of not deal with some things. But there are things we are walking away from today and we're leaving things behind, okay? All right, so that is the reading for today, um, March 7th, Tuesday. And look at um, and <laughs> watch the full moon um, also um, reading that I did. All right. Happy birthday if you were born today, March 7th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your soul or your theme and your wish card. All right. So your soul or your theme is the high priestess. This is a um, major arcana, so an important day for you, a, a year for you. Um, this is dealing with working behind the scenes, mysticism, trusting yourself, okay? Um, some things are going to be delayed till you get some spiritual understanding is what I'm feeling as well. Um, there is a situation that you need to break free from, okay? And if you follow your intuition and you keep things on the download, you will find freedom from what I'm feeling here. For some of you, this could be dating on the side, uh, keeping a relationship, secret lovers, that kind of energy is showing up as well. New friendships, whatever you're doing, there's something behind the scenes that's going on. Um, there is a strong completion and commencing a new cycle. Some of you may be traveling or connecting with people overseas or long distance is what I'm picking up as well. You have a lot of artistic talent this year and or being able to express yourself. So writing things down, you could, um, if you're a writer, you could be doing very well. You could be making writing mystery novels, things like that. So definitely seeing that kind of energy um, happening for you and freedom is very important. Um, I want to say also here, what's some things are an illusion. Not everything is what it seems to be. A lot of mystery. Your dreams may be prophetic. These are premonitions. Pay attention. Deja vu's could come through. But you could be dealing with some anxiety and fear as well. It's a subconscious coming through. So following your intuition is going to be important. Your wish for your soul year is a major arcana of the sun. So this is a major wish. Um, for some of you, I want to say... Be careful what you wish for because you may not want it later, okay? Uh, for others of you, make sure that you are positively trying to manifest and don't give up. Otherwise, your negativity will not help this come through, but it should be a yes. Important numbers for your solar year, 21, 2, 19, 5, and 18. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Tuesday. Check out the full moon video in Virgo. Happy full moon to everyone and bye for now.